Hate crimes are on the rise in the city, and new NYPD data shows a lot of them are anti-Semitic. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis explains that this comes as police search for suspects accused of targeting a Jewish father and son on Staten Island. The NYPD and Staten Island Show Marine Safety Patrol remained outside Island Kosher Supermarket a day after a father and son were shot by a BB gun here. The pair could be seen on video wearing yarmulkes when struck in the drive-by attack. You can see the seven-year-old boy react after being grazed in the ear. It's shocking because we're, it's just a very safe neighborhood. The NYPD Hate Crimes Task Force is looking for two suspects, including the driver of this black Ford Mustang with a covered license plate who drove off on Victory Boulevard. I've never heard such a thing happening here right in this area. You know, that's, that's not something that we hear. This comes as hate crimes are up citywide. New numbers from the NYPD show anti-Semitic hate crimes more than doubled this November compared to last. Anti-black hate crimes and those based on gender and sexual orientation were also up. Hate leads to hate. And there's a lot of hate that's being espoused in, uh, uh, in media, in uh, you know, by celebrities, by influencers. Anti-Defamation League Regional Director Scott Richmond has condemned recent rhetoric and social media posts from celebrities like Kanye West and Kyrie Irving. This also comes on the heels of threats toward local synagogues. He says together we need to condemn hate, report it, and better educate. Anti-Semitism is a virus. It's a virus that infects society and a society that can tolerate hatred against Jews, can tolerate hatred against other minorities. Back to the incident here, Staten Island Shom Reem says the Jewish community is very disturbed, telling us the little boy is traumatized, but both him and his father are physically doing okay. In the Myers Corner section of Staten Island, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.